Good morning, welcome to another see the daily vlog. Today it is Sunday and I'm just going out for a bit of a run. It's like seven o'clock at the moment. When I was an even younger me, I used to always get up at like seven o'clock in the morning. Just because I wanted to make the most out of every single day and I didn't want to be kind of just left in bed just doing nothing because I hated that. So I used to do that every single morning. I used to wake up at seven, go for a cycle, I used to do rowing and other shit like that. So when I was about 15, 16, I ended up waking up every morning at like seven o'clock just because I wanted to go for a cycle, I wanted to go take time lapses, I wanted to go take long exposure pictures in the morning. And I love this place in the morning because like, I'm back home, I can carry at the moment and you can't really see it because I'm walking through a bit of a forest part. It's a beautiful place in the mornings. I, a morning is by far my favorite time of the day. It's like the time that I find you can get most done. It's also the most beautiful time of the day. And I just love it. There's something about the cool, fresh air that I love. Problem was, by the time I got to leaving cert, I started going out more, going to parties, drinking and stuff like that. And it became harder and harder for me to actually still wake up at like seven o'clock in the morning, especially if we were out the night before, or else if I'd spend like the whole night studying. College really didn't have that. College had even more parties. I'd stay up even later to do assignments and stuff like that, so it really didn't work out in first year. Second year then I began working in different restaurants and my shifts were like either I'd start really early in the morning, which I kind of liked, or else I'd finish really late at night, as in three, two, three o'clock at night, and that wasn't ideal for waking up early in the morning. So the thing about mornings is you can get so much done in the morning. And I mean so much. You can go for a jog. You can get your exercise in and you get to see the most beautiful time of the day. If you're gonna try work in the evening time, you're gonna have this whole day that goes before the time when you work, which actually makes you really tired, believe it or not. And therefore, you wake up even later the following morning. And my sleep pattern at the moment has led me to become a night owl as such, because I do all my work at night after about 11, 12 o'clock, that's when I work. And working in the night is great and all, and you get a lot done. The problem is working in the morning is more productive because you're really awake and you get to just can do more. As a bit of a benefit, you get to see views like this. Back in the day where I used to always get up really early in the morning, this is where I used to come to do my long exposures and time lapses. Some of you may recognize that shot. That's the old channel banner for this channel. So it's about time I get home because I have to record and edit two videos before I head to lunch with my nan and my sisters and then go back to Dublin. So essentially what I'm gonna start doing again is get up really early in the morning and get stuff done before I go to college, before I go to other things, just because I prefer to do things that way. That means then, come seven, eight o'clock, I can relax, and then just relax until I go to sleep. So it's actually turning out to be a wonderful day. It's actually like almost like summer. This is probably the closest we've gotten to summer here. Very close to it. We have gotten a few nice days. Me, my nan, and my sisters are going for lunch now in a few minutes. I'm gonna jump in the shower first, maybe quick shave as well and I'll talk to you then. So we are back at home just after having a bit of lunch with Nan and we're back at home. I need to get ready, get myself ready to go to Dublin and then I'm gonna head off. It's kind of a pity that I'm traveling today because it's such a nice dry day but at least it is dry for traveling. So essentially over the next few weeks, days, months, years, I think that's too far. But over the next few weeks and months, I hope to wake up earlier and earlier every morning and then hopefully every morning I'll be able to get up at 6 or 7 o'clock in the morning. I just find there's so much opportunity in the morning and we never really embrace it properly so this is a pledge to myself from now on to wake up at at least 
half seven. And yes, that is realistic. Now, however, I need to go, I need to pack, I need to get to Dublin. And in case you've never seen it, this is like the view out of the top windows in the hall. Okay, bye Maya. Bye. Oh, I'll talk to you soon. Thank you. Bye. Um, yeah, mind yourself. Talk bye. to you soon. Have fun in school. Bye. And I'll, yeah. Bye. So that's it, leaving home for probably until college starts. Hopefully I'll get home before college starts again. Actually, before I leave, I need to check whether or not. Ouch. That didn't seem good. I just walloped. I just walloped the camera off the door. So, yeah. I need to check. Passports, check. And if you're asking why I have two passports, one is literally just my old passport. And according to some countries' rules, you still have to bring like your old passport if you got a new passport in the last few months. So that's why I bring it, just just in case there's any hassle with that. Never, don't think there ever will be, but may as well. Also, just in case I ever like leave my passport on a plane or anything, I know it doesn't really count as my new passport does, but just in case I lose the other one, so that I can at least identify myself. Bye, Maya. Well that's it, it looks like Kerry are not going to be in the final of the All-Ireland this year. I don't usually watch football, I don't usually watch Gaelic football at all and it's only at times like this where I actually tune in and get like really in the hype because I don't have time to watch it during the year and I'm obviously in the car at the moment driving to Dublin and yeah, I'm, watching, I'm listening to it on the radio. So while I'm on the motorway, I keep passing signs which say like electric picnic, parking and all that. It's really making me sad. I really, really want to go, but then again, I'm going to rush at the weekend, so I guess I can't complain. So Jess arrived home exactly the same time as I did. And do you know what she brought for me? Chinese. Where is it? There it is. I'm obviously excited to see her as well, but she brought Chinese. Chinese beetle.